I lose from taking another two felonies. Which I didn't even take two. I took one. The, 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 the nigga that got up there and he, cause I seen it, Southside Reezy, if you listening, because you's a bitch, you could have just came up and said that shit to my face, but you ain't had the balls to do that shit, but you want to talk about child support, over the time in the course of that relationship, when I was with that woman, I was always verbally abused, I was physically abused, I was emotionally manipulated, I was always put down, and I was giving that woman everything in the world, when it comes to me being a motherfucking father, the only reason that relationship lasted that guy damn long was because i didn't want my child to grow up in the household without his father that's the reason why that shit lasted that goddamn what? long when it came to when it really came down to it if you want to know how much i say i can't be bought i had a big brother which was my plug nigga he tried to pay me three to five thousand dollars at least ten times to leave that woman alone because he saw that she was gonna be the end of me the death of me and I never took the money. Nigga, I went broke. I blew through $700,000 trying to make that woman happy. Nigga, she got $1,000 a week for allowance. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about like she's a kid. $1,000 a week for allowance. Not like she was a kid, but because I never let a woman be out here with no motherfucking money. Not while you fucking with me. I pay every credit card that she had. I pay all car notes. I pay phone bill, every bill in the house, rent, et cetera, et cetera. And never asked you for nothing. And all I got in return was disrespect. Both times that we dealt with each other when I came home from prison. Not to mention when I went to prison in 2012 because all I knew was robbing, drug dealing, and stealing. When it came down to me uh, dealing with her, I ain't gonna lie to you. 2012 in Houston, Texas, nigga, we was in the middle of a cocaine drought. You know what I'm saying? Shit got fucked up. I ended up, I ended up, you know what I'm saying, being like, hey, look, man, shit fucked up. I love it, girl. You know what I'm saying? I've been paying all the bills. I've been taking care of shit, but I need to do something. I ain't got no money in my pocket. We went to one of her cousin's house, and while we was at her cousin house her cousin cooked for us nigga and it fucked me up to the point to where if she ain't cooked for us that night nigga it was either make a petty theft or a petty robbery and, and to be able to provide for us and i didn't want to do that she fed us that night and the next morning i called my robbing partners you know what i'm saying and that's how i ended up going to prison while in prison for four and a half years man that woman did me the worst and i accepted all of that shit why? Because I knew I had been a whole ass nigga to plenty of women before. So I like, damn, in my karma, I accept that shit. Came home 2017. She showed me all the shit that she did. Gave me a phone with all the shit that she did. I took that shit on the chin like a motherfucking champ. Like, man, look, all right, we gonna work, we gonna work past that shit. Boom. When I, in 2017, man, the woman started acting weird with me. She got pregnant the first time, know what I'm saying? When we had the first little situation or whatever, right? She had a miscarriage. Boom. With time passed on, we kind of got past that shit. When we got past that shit, I ended up, you know what I'm saying? We we in Dallas, nigga. I moved to Dallas, nigga. If it wasn't for me being the nigga that I am, nigga, I was mad as fuck at her. But because I loved her so much, nigga, and you got to understand why I was going so hard for the woman at the exact same time. My mama hated, my mama did, my mama old school, old school than a bitch, right? I was married. I'm still currently technically married, need to be divorced or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I be forgetting because I don't fuck with her, you whatever, right? Boom. So while I'm, while I'm fucking with, uh, oh girl, my mama would never let no woman come around her has if it wasn't my wife so in that time period while my mama was fighting cancer or whatever the fuck right my mama took a liking to this woman she was the last woman to ever meet my mama and approve of my, my mama to approve of and say that she loved her and she wanted her to have her grandkids my mama died 30 days into me being in jail in 2012 nigga that's the last piece of whatever the fuck i got to remember of that woman so when i i put up with most shit than a little bit because i was holding on to my mom my motherfucking mama at the exact same time then she gave up she gave birth to my mama's grandchild nigga my son nigga I, I i stuck it out even longer because of that shit nigga this is why the fuck i put up with so much from that woman you know what i'm saying and then and i never forget and i never say it nigga i was king simp for a long period of time nigga you know what i'm saying because i had always done women wrong nigga i want to do right by this one this the one that mama loved you know what i'm saying and my mama the last word that woman ever said to me was i ain't raised no thief so nigga when i got out in 2017 nigga i 
hit I hit Dallas and I promised and I vowed to never do nothing illegal again. Nigga, I started a business, nigga, from scratch. Came home with nothing. Started a business. Nigga got a BMW, a motherfucking house, and had motherfucking employees working for me. And I and I and I took that shit to the top. Nigga, the whole time I had that shit going on, that woman wasn't doing nothing but draining me and belittling me. But she got pregnant. Nigga, I stuck through it. And then it got to a point in time where she was getting a little too aggressive. And I said, you know what? I got to get away from you. I sent her back to Houston. She tried to stay there in Dallas, Fort Worth with me the whole entire time and make sure that I funded and footed the bill for her being pregnant and made sure my life was absolutely inconvenienced the whole entire time when I know that you don't fuck with me. But I did that shit up until I couldn't no more. Oh, my little boy get born. When my little boy get born, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm already, I'm dealing with somebody else. Know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with somebody else. Boom. My little boy get born. Uh, six months in, I go to jail after my little boy born. Know what I'm saying? While I was in jail for 14 months, you talking about a woman that I didn't gave everything to. I already laid my life down on the line. But before she ended up pregnant, know what I'm saying? And all of the extra bullshit that I went through with her, I ended up making sure that she was good. Nigga, she never paid for nothing long as she was fucking with me. Never. Nigga, while I was in jail, knowing that I'm in my lowest, I would beg for $10 every weekend. Nigga, every week I had to beg for 10 fucking dollars, nigga. Do you know how demean that is when you a nigga that touched hundreds of thousands of dollars and then gave you this woman thousands and thousands of dollars? Nigga, I had to beg for $10. Nigga, I supposed to hate that motherfucker. But what I did, because I loved her when I came home from prison and I I, I didn't have that concept of raise my kids in two households. Nah, I still still hate that shit. Know what I'm saying? So when I came home from prison, the woman had me blocked. All of this shit. When I came home, I said, hey, man, I don't care what we got to go through to work that shit out. We going to work it out. And I forgave that shit. That the most demeaning time in my life, I forgave that shit. When she came back, she came to Dallas. Nigga, two months in, I already saw that the woman didn't have no respect for me. But she sent the video after we, and when and them two months in, I told her, hey, look, I want you to go back home. Please, I don't want you to be here with me. I want you to go back home. I ain't going to lie to you. I told her. I cried to her in her face and told her, look, I allow you to break me because I never want my son to be without me. I'll allow you to break me because I never want my son to grow up without me. And, and she said, I don't want to break you. So she said that she was going to go home. Not to mention, we had just left fucking Houston where I didn't packed up the whole motherfucking house and apartment that she had in, 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 in Houston. And I was paying the rent on that motherfucker and paying the rent in motherfucking Dallas. Know what I'm saying? But I didn't took all of that shit back in the house because she said she nah, she don't want to go through there with me. She don't want to break me. Don't want to hurt me. When we got the motherfucking, uh, when we got back to Dallas, nigga, she sent me a picture of my little boy. So I, I haven't been in my little boy life. Hey, I, six months in, I was in, I was in a different situation. Situation. I had lost my fucking mind and all I did was drink and, and I drunk every goddamn day. I ended up going to jail for some dumb shit on some drunk shit. Boom. Then when, when I come home from jail, I did 14 months in the, I was only supposed to do 12, did an extra two because COVID hit and they lost my paperwork. So I didn't get out when I was supposed to get out. But when I came back, you know what I'm saying? I came home and, 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 and when I saw or whatever, right? I worked through all of this shit, got her back, got her back in the motherfucking, uh, got, got her to come back to me or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, and I gave everything that I fucking had. I prayed with that woman, cried with that woman, tried to make sure that woman healed from her trauma, tried to make sure that woman was going to have the best life that she ever did. I gave every asset that I possibly had to try and make sure she had the best life possible, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and in return, all I ever got met with was disrespect, nagging, complaining, bitching, and, and, and no motherfucking appreciation. Not to mention, whoop my ass twice. Didn't touch her. Didn't turn around. And you put your hands on me. The last time when you charged me and you was like, man, you talking to me crazy. And shit, I snapped. Nigga, who the fuck wouldn't? The lady had me ready to unalive myself multiple nights living in that house. Nigga, who the fuck wouldn't snap? Nigga, I'm risking my life. Nigga, every day I walk outside, nigga, I'm facing 25 to life. Nigga, who the fuck wouldn't snap? Somebody you laying your life down on the line, just constantly disrespecting you, constantly playing with you. 
Nigga, I snap. Hell yeah. But I ain't punch her. I ain't do none of that. I slapped her. She lied to the motherfucking police. Nigga, that's why I fought that case for so long. Nigga, the, the reason why the weapon, I didn't get charged with the weapon, nigga, it was really hers. She sent documentation that it was hers. She signed the affidavit saying that it was hers. Nigga, I ain't pulled no weapon on that woman. Nigga, I had cameras all around my house. Nigga, I could have convicted myself. So for y'all sitting here talking all this shit about I body slammed the woman, I ain't never body slammed no woman. Nigga, I slapped her. Am I happy for it? No. It's one of my most painful memories because I wish I would have been in a better what state of mind because my little boy got to see me slap his mama. Nigga, that shit hurt. Some of y'all don't give a fuck about that part, but y'all like bringing up what the motherfucking story over and over and over and over again. Nigga, I ain't proud of that shit. Nigga, I ain't never wanted to hit no motherfucking woman. And still don't. Nigga, I strive our ways. Nigga, I'll take her ass with me before I have to. Nigga, if it wasn't for her having my son, I'd have left that woman alone a long time ago. But I put up with that shit. Now, here it is. We get on the internet. She leave. We get on. I get on the internet. 2020, 2022. Know what I'm saying? I get on the internet. 2022. The lady, the lady calling me and demeaning me. I'm steady calling, trying to talk to my son. You talking to me crazy. You talking to me fucked up. You limited the access that I have with my son. You always playing with him. Cause you know, that's the only thing that I give a fuck about for you bitch. I had niggas saying that I don't care about my kid. It's all I care about. I even told her. I got blocked after I told her. Hey, a few seconds. I got I got blocked after I told her. Hey, look, give them to me. I ain't having no money problems. I don't. I got somewhere to stay that's stable. Give them to me. Get yourself together. I give them back. Now, you want me to? You want me to give you the lifestyle that you had with me while you was in Dallas, while you in Houston, while you been constantly disrespecting me? The fuck I'm supposed to do that? The fuck would I do that? Please don't tell him what to do respectfully. But then motherfuckers on here, they, 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 they love to talk. Now you get to hear it. I've been, I've been eating that bullet. You know what I'm saying? Never telling the story about, never dragging her. Never choosing to drag her. Eating that bullet. Knowing that that shit hurting me. Tapping my motherfucking pockets on a regular basis. And everybody just running around. Everybody running around with the, oh, what? Slim, you did this, you did that. Slim, you ain't shit. You ain't this. Nigga, if you knew how I felt about that situation, you never speak on it. Then she threw the shit, the shit that she said, she threw it in my fucking face when I was sending money. Nigga, I stopped calling because every time I call in 2022, in November, I was calling. And one day I called because somebody told me, hey, look, Slim, you might have, you showing, we, we had a whole autism live. Whole autism live. You know what I'm saying? It was somebody expressing it. You know what I'm saying? They were talking about the spectrum and how that shit go. I called my baby mama in 2022 and I'm like, hey, look, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I know I ain't been calling you, but you know what I'm saying? I've been sending money, but I, I want you to go get our son tested to make sure he ain't autistic because I don't want him to go through the exact same things that I went through when I was a kid. Oh, I get where this is coming from. Get it off, bro. It ain't yours to carry. I, I'm like, hey, I don't, I don't, I want you to get him tested to make sure that he good. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him getting his what? ass whooped for being fucking smart and, 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 and not being able to always have social cues and understand social cues and shit like that. Man, the woman got, she got, she hung up. She said, get the fuck off my phone. Ain't nothing wrong with my son when I see the same symptoms and the same traits that these motherfuckers done said to me and they done told me in his life. And no, I'm not trying to diagnose him like I'm no motherfucking what? therapist, what? but I want to make sure that that little nigga gonna be good. I don't want him getting his ass beat every motherfucking day because he, he different. And I got blocked. I got blocked. Then you threw my fucking childhood trauma in my face and tried to make it seem like I was a horrible person when I said this shit to you out my own fucking mouth. I got blocked for nine months. I called for, I, I saw it in Rick Live one time. I tried to bring this shit up. I saw it in Diamond Live that morning because I love my fucking son and I wanted to talk to my fucking son. So I talk, I, I called her out in the comments. She came up there. Everybody want to talk about how that shit went and what she said. Nigga, she was trying to silence me. She was trying to get me to accept never fucking with my kid again. That's why she said that shit. And that's the reason why I said everything first.
I go through hell and high water to see my son. Do you want to know how bad I love my son? I chose my son over the money that I make because I knew how bad the shit that she was finna say was gonna hurt me, but I'd rather talk to my fucking kid. So for y'all that don't know, I'll give you a glimpse at how much I put on the line just to be able to talk to my kid. I was making $20,000 a month on this bitch ass app. And I put all of that on the line to have a relationship with my son because I told you, money will never move me. I can't be bought. But some of y'all want to act like this shit just what it is. Y'all want to talk about that story like it's just, oh, Slim did this. Man, I ain't never touched a motherfucking kid in my life. I don't even play like that. I got a little baby girl that I be watching. When I don't be on here on Friday, little baby girl that live with me, nigga, I don't play with her. Nigga, nigga I'm the best motherfucking father you would ever wish for for a fucking child. Nigga, I'm going to die behind them. Fuck, I look like playing one of them. Then when it comes to this this whole ass story about then you want to go into all of this shit. Nigga, do you know like late, lately everybody been wondering like damn Slim you drinking again? Why you drinking again? Cuz if I don't call my son when my baby mama feel like I'm supposed to call my son, she tell my son I don't fuck with him. That's what she telling him. If somebody don't want to call you and play with you, they don't fuck with you. So on a regular basis, I'm calling my son and this shit you putting into his head is I don't fuck with him because I don't give him the time that I don't be having at times. Because I'm trying to build something that I can actually make sure that he good for the rest of his life. That's what I be going through. I have my son tell me that I'm going to get a new daddy. That's what she been feeding him. He told me out of his own mouth, nigga, I'm going to get a new daddy. Where did you get that from? I asked her about it. She gonna tell me some shit about he saw that himself. Man, he fucking five. So y'all sitting here acting like I'm just not this person that I portray on the internet. Man, I be giving y'all 100% realness and rawness. I just don't care to speak about everything because I still be eating bullets. While y'all while y'all sitting here judging me for certain shit, I'm eating bullets. Even this last time while we was in communication, I was giving this lady $1,000 a month. May, may God strike my son down. I'm giving this woman $1,000 a month. When Blaze pulled his second campaign and I tried to tell her, hey, look, come up, man. This nigga running this shit again, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, you know what I'm saying? You know how shit was. It was rough for a little while. Wasn't able to send no money. I don't want to go back to that. Can you please come up? You know what I'm saying? Just just clear the air real quick. She saw it as a moment to kick me while I was Run down. To the family. She saw it as a moment to kick me while I was fucking down. But child sitting here, oh Slim. Oh, he 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 nah, nigga. That's why I fuck out drink sometimes. Shit hurt. The amount of pain I endured with all of this shit, shit hurt. Fuck, I look like pain myself out to be the victim. Nigga, I've been, I've been, I've been the motherfucking, I've been the motherfucking person just sitting back taking shots for a regular, on a regular basis. Then when you want to go on ahead and y'all want to talk about auntie, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah, but you do know money change certain people, right? Let's talk about that. This why I won't team up with none of you other bitch ass people on this app. They be hating because she getting her motherfucking money. Now, nah, money change certain people. Sometimes you, you feel like money being taken out of your pockets. Sometimes you'll throw a motherfucker under the bus. All that love shit can get out the window. But trust me, the reason why I felt like she would never do that shit because she always texted me and told me, Slim, why you can't just sit back and chill for a second? I don't want certain shit to come out. But I watched for the last couple of months as my shit started back building up. Now, nah, it's more than $5. That's what y'all be missing. I just don't tell y'all what the fuck going on. It's more than $5. 
But as I sat back over the last couple of months, the way that my shit been going up, the way that I've been going, the way that my cash up goes be getting hit, the way that I put up numbers when I'm battling, man, I started noticing I was treated different. And now me being the same person that I always have been, who would jump in the panel, who will rock out and fight for you. You know what I'm saying? That shit going under, you looking at your pockets. You looking at what you making, but you also looking at what I'm making because you can see me. And boom, you not, now you treat me differently. My issue with her ain't child issue. I became a threat. Me being on the morning show by having such a dynamic personality, I became a threat. The more I sit on the path, it's plenty of times y'all be like, Slim, come up. I'm in the fucking request. I can't get up. I'm in the request. I can't get up. Why? Because my personality is fucking great. Is, uh, the charisma and the, and, and the humor and the intellectual side, nigga, that shit's unmatched. So I became a threat. You stopped letting me up. And each time I came up, I got threw under the bus multiple times. Some y'all wouldn't even know about it because I'm not going to put all that out there. But I got threw under the bus multiple times. The child ain't even know about it. But again, my loyalty still won't allow me to drag it, but I can call that shit out for what it is, though. See, when y'all be talking about loyalty, some of y'all be talking about bullshit. I got your back no matter what. Now, nah, loyalty is I love you, motherfucker. That shit hurt. But I ain't gonna never do you how you did me. I never do you how you did me. If you a hoe ass nigga and you do some hoe ass shit to me, how much more of a better nigga am I if I do some hoe ass shit to you? That make me a hoe ass nigga too. I never stoop down to your level. I never stoop down to your motherfucking level. So yeah, when people saw me go out today, nigga, I saw it. It was just a conclusion. But some of y'all just was jealous of the money she was making. Me, I never was jealous of the money she was making. I just sat on her panel, made sure y'all push her to a million diamonds, and didn't ask for a dime. I ain't never asked for a dime. I didn't even tell you. I don't throw me no gifts. Focus on her. Motherfuckers witnessed it. What never bought no money. I saw that she was a black woman that started that at the exact same time that I started that. And I watched how so many of you envious motherfuckers and you jealous motherfuckers would come up against her just because y'all couldn't do the exact same shame, the same thing that she did. That's why I would fight for her. I know how many, you know how many people I, I blocked. That they spent thousands of dollars. They started talking to me sideways. I know how people be thinking that Faye was supposed to. Welcome to the family. What's wrong with my mic? <laughs> okay. I know I know how thousands of people. I know how many people that, that, that been in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Doing all kind Nothing of shit. can hear you. They, they, they spent thousands of dollars and then they'll come, they'll start hitting you with slick shots and slick requests trying to buy you. They blocked. On my end, these people blocked. I listen to the things that people say. I listen to the things that people say when they first, when they, when they voice their grievances. And that's how I address certain people. That's why it's a bunch of people that didn't address their grievances. I never went there. I never got in between. Because some of them really was valid. I get where you was coming from, but I understand why I can't say shit to you. It's not because I have to be silent towards her. It's because that your feelings are really valid. You had a misinterpretation of the type of relationship that y'all had. You really saw this person as your motherfucking friend. This person saw you as business. I can't make them. I can't hold you accountable to some shit like that. But when it comes down to a motherfucker, when it comes down to a motherfucker thinking that they gifts, they cash apps, and, and, and they loyalty for subscriptions and all of that shit equals equates to them having some kind of control, I ain't endorsing that. Do I believe that some people get unappreciated? Hell yeah. 
But I'm not going to sit here and endorse a motherfucker that's just bitter over shit that they tried to get. When you, you try to manipulate your favors for loyalty. I never tried to manipulate my favors for loyalty. You want to know what was the, the straw that broke the camel's back? You telling me that you don't want certain things to come out. And then you being the fucking vehicle of which some bullshit came out. That's why I thought I was different. That's why I thought I was different. You telling me one thing, you telling me, I don't want certain shit out, Slim. Stay out the way on certain conversations. We having a totally irrelevant conversation. That shit should have never came up. It had nothing to do with relationships. It had nothing to do with nothing. And then you read that shit. And then if you couldn't tell why it was even what, what I, I saw the energy and I peaked it when it was said. First time you ever heard me say something. Think about how many times they didn't drug me in a cash out message. I ain't never say shit. Hey, CLB, I love you, baby, but I ain't gonna lie to you. The truth is the truth. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker just told me, Slim, this the internet. That person. Slim, this the internet. Tomorrow when I get on, I'm going to host my lives, talk about my topics, it'll pass. Yeah, you're going to get that. You're going to get your normal dragon. But now I got to fight harmful and egregious motherfucking allegations. You see, how I had to, you see how I had to go through the whole history of all my trauma in order to be able to get people to understand what the fuck is being said? You see that shit? Out because some cowardice motherfucker didn't have the balls to jump in the panel and say that shit himself, but then he can go to Rose Live and say some shit. Oh yeah, I was the one that sent it. I'm just nigga, you's a bitch. You really ain't want you you mad that I'm more of a nigga than you will ever be. I can go on a platform and women love me and they don't love you. You're I don't even want to roast you because I ain't gonna get my shit took down. But yeah, boy, you you never be able to stand next to me. And if you wanted to, nigga, I'd dox myself and punch her way down if you think that, that you ever your could. Point in the beginning. I dox myself. Nigga, I'm really with the shits. Some of you niggas is not like that. So for all of this, I had to turn around, explain myself, and all you could tell me was well, this the internet. I'd expect that from anybody else other than the person that said, I don't want certain shit to come out about you, Slim. Y'all talk about that nephew shit? Yeah, because that's how she treat me when I'm off the internet. When we talk off the internet, it's nephew. It's I love you. But I watch. Yeah, I know how to count pockets better than anybody on this app. So when I sit here and I count what's going on, I know when motherfuckers' money is declining. Yeah, you doing good. Maybe you having a bad week this week, but I'm watching that shit slowly decline. And you seeing my shit slowly begin to rise. You thinking that I'm taking away from your motherfucking table. And I never was. Because in the end, what I do, you see me go in there and drop lines and drop big ass gifts. You see me do this shit. made for everyone. That's why they made sidewalks. You see me go in there and spend money out my own motherfucking pocket. I pay for the opportunities that I get. Yeah, some of that shit be thank you and I appreciate you. But I've never been on some sneaky sit up under you. Let me get your people away from you. Nah, I started out with Diamond when she was in the booth. And it, was, it, it wasn't even nothing but 100 people in there. This has still been routine. Even when I go on Rick Live and when I go to Kevin Live, when I come to some of y'all smile creators lives and I sit in the box, I start. that's how I've always moved on this app. I've gotten more careful, more cautious about who lives I sit in, but I've still always been a nigga that live surf and will jump up if the conversation is good. If I wanted to show you some love, if I wanted to have a con whatever, I've been that way since the beginning. I knew Rick when he was 15k. I knew Kev before he even had 10k. I knew fucking Gentsy before he hit that 859. But Gentsy was already big though. Gentsy was already big. I was I was fucking with Ice B. I've been everywhere around this whole motherfucking app on a regular basis, doing what I do, and I always had my own numbers. 
I always had my own clout, my own motion. I go live, 8 o'clock at night, room be two, 300 people. We in here vibing, chilling, laughing, and playing. I, I, I was the first nigga with a subscriber badge uh, on this bitch. Know what I'm saying? I had a subscriber badge. I sent Diamond a subscriber badge. She says she got it from somewhere else. That may be true, too. But I sent it to her because it was an invitation-only program. I've always wanted to see that lady win. I've, I, I made sure she got a manager, made sure she figured out who her manager was. I did all of that shit. Nigga, you can't never tell me about no motherfucker fucking uh you can't never tell me about no motherfucking loyalty it ain't no mad day nigga it's, it's what you said to me nigga over the years you didn't express that love but when money come in between man people will always switch sides welcome to the family. i'm just one nigga that can't be bought with no money And I had a subscriber badge. I sent Diamond a subscriber badge. She says she got it from somewhere else. That may be true, too. But I sent it to her because it was an invitation-only program. I've always wanted to see that lady win. I've, I, I made sure she got a manager. Made sure she figured out who her manager was. I did all of that shit. Nigga, you can't never tell me about no motherfucking, uh... You can't never tell me about no motherfucking loyalty. It ain't no mad day, nigga. It's, it's what you said to me. Nigga, over the years, you didn't express that love. But when money come in between, man, people will always switch sides. Welcome to the family. I'm just one nigga that can't be bought with no money. So when y'all sitting here talking about all these stories of why it happened today, that's why it happened today. I became a threat. The, the subscribers going up. The numbers and attendance is going up. The revenue was going down. Yeah, it might be so it might be decent and supplemented on the cash app in, but again, I'm getting the cash apps and the gifts. My subscribers going up. You think I'm taking money out your mouth? You throw me under the bus to try and prevent me from getting anybody in your crowd or anybody in your comments to fuck with me. That's what really happened. The rest of y'all, some of y'all really tripped that. Can see like after today i don't want to go back i'll block you i don't need you never did i just liked it the space We did talk, and I was told it was the internet. That's what happens. There was an apology, but it wasn't sincere enough. And the reason why it wasn't sincere enough is because how the fuck you sitting here telling me you going to call the nigga out there went and exposed himself? The fuck that got to do? You gave that nigga a voice. So for all these questions that people have on this motherfucking internet about what I went through and what I'm doing, these people really have been devious and snakish. Some of y'all really have been devious and snakish the whole entire time y'all been doing shit. Some of y'all been devious and snakish, had ill intentions and wanted to make sure that y'all could try and get up underneath her, then steal and grift her support from her. Me, I ain't never had them motherfucking intentions. I ain't never needed that shit. Man, I went to the podium by myself. None of that. Everything I done did on this app, man, I did it on my own. I built it. I did it all first. I did it all first. I showed you motherfuckers it's a bag on TikTok. When she was finna quit her job, I told her, man, the people got you. I was the one that came out and said that shit. Or when her job came to an end, I was the one that said, man, the people got you. That was my words. Nigga, that was my encouragement. And the people followed suit.
So how the fuck somebody gonna tell me I'm wrong or why I didn't why I didn't drag her? I didn't say nothing earlier because I wanted the conversation. First time it was to flex muscle. That was the warning shot. And even still, I can't, I'm not finna sit here and say nothing about the way she looked, none of that shit. We talking about character, we talking about principles right now. So some of you motherfuckers talking about crying, you niggas ain't made a dollar off this bitch and still worried about making money and trying to figure out how to make money on this internet and y'all ain't got it yet. Some of y'all mad and envious because of the amount of money that she made. I'll never be that. I love to see black people winning. Hell, you if you was in another live yesterday, me and T Time squashed a little beef, you know what I'm saying? Cause I've started forgiving people. But I, I I told her, man, nah, no matter what, man, I'm proud of you too, you know what I'm saying? I see how you've been going up. I don't care how much I don't fuck with you at this point in time. I'm happy to see a black person win. I'm happy to see a black person win and every chance that I get, man, if I can see you win or help you win, that's what I, it's all I've been doing. I run around the app. When y'all don't know what's going on in the battle world, I make introductions. When y'all don't know what's going on and you say, Hey Slim, I need a manager. So I take your name down. I get on the, I get on the call with my manager. Hey, look at such and such. This person right here need a manager. I give all the resources that I didn't ever built and ganged on this bitch by my own blood, sweat and tears to you people freely. I ain't charging a dime. Fuck what I hate on a motherfucker for. God been blessing me all this time. He ain't gonna stop blessing me. And even still, I ain't gonna say shit else. I just clearing the air. You feel like I drug you? Okay, cool. I don't give a fuck. You got to clear the air. Same way I had to defend you. How the fuck do I defend you, but don't defend my goddamn self? I'm through taking bullets for people that don't, that, that won't take one from me. I didn't took too many shots. I took all them shots for my baby mama for 10 years. And if you wanted to know exactly, if you want to look at the type of person that my baby mama is, she's an AP. She, she act just like AP. Probably worse. I'm through taking shots for people and letting them roll out my sleeve. Do you know that I would have been, I would have still had my plug and been in good graces if I would have took one of my brother's lives, if I would have let my plug take one of my brother's lives, you know what I'm saying? Because that nigga had owed me so much money, but I love the nigga so much, and I was like, nah, he got five kids. He fucked up. Nah, bro, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna give you the drop on him. Let him live. All right, if he live, though, you don't get no more access. I deal with it. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know the type of person y'all be dealing with. This shit ain't just on the internet. This shit started before the internet. Half of the shit that I speak about when I talk about being a good man to a woman, I became that man for my baby mama. My mama said she loved that woman like nothing else. My mama passed and she loved that woman so much. I said, you know what? I ain't Sometimes gonna run her off. He has an expiration date and that's sad. And my, 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 I, I told her I ain't gonna run her off. I'm gonna do everything I can to become the best man I possibly can to treat her right, be a good father to my kid and whatever other kids that didn't came that come after that. And what I got for that was spit in the face. Tell me what you did for anybody. Some of y'all ain't did nothing but take. My whole life, all I ever did was give. Millions of dollars. And still got crossed. 
many cash app goals I done completed on here or contributed heavily to gift goals. How many times you done seen me come through and cut up for somebody and then they turn around and drag me? I ain't did nothing on this what? album be the most solid person I could possibly be. And people hate me for it. I didn't got drugged for people or people threw slick shots at me about some of the shit that I was doing on my platform to monetize. They demonized me until I chilled that. And then they turned around and copied the motherfucking blueprint. And y'all want to sit here and tell me that I'm a horrible person. I'm a monster. I showed motherfuckers the way and got kicked in the ass for doing so. All these numbers and shit, I've been getting them. Nigga take a punching and a beating all the time in real life and on this motherfucking app. And then people sit back and say, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? He a monster. He's a piece of shit. Man, come on, man. I ain't never fired off. I ain't going to lie. I fired off on, like, probably two or three people un undo. But I made, I spun the black and I, I spun the block and I apologize. I've owned everything that I did on this app. I ain't never, if I fucked up, I owned that shit. I'm always owning my shit. Right. I'm a grown man. Some shit some of y'all will never know about. Some of you niggas that be envying a nigga. And I'm really like that. Go in my hood and ask. Don't play with him. He with the shits. He get money, he fuck with women, but that nigga crazy. Go ass in Dallas. Go ass in Fort Worth. Jumping out on blocks with murderers. And ain't now a nigga take no money from me. Nigga, I really am with that shit. I'm really him in real life. You a good guy, Slim. We love you. $100,000 put on my head. Because I was terrorizing niggas. I'm really him in real life. Some y'all will never know about. It. So now nah, it ain't me just trying to be like, oh, I'm the toughest, the biggest, the baddest. I tell you my story. I tell you my story. And I ain't never tried to act like I was perfect. I ain't never got on here and said I ain't never did nothing to a woman. I said I was toxic. I had to heal from it. I had to grow from it. Didn't have a father. Didn't make excuses for that shit. I said some of the shit I did was so fucked up, I'm still ashamed of it. And I spend every day trying to pour into these women to make sure that they don't have to. I spend every day trying to weaponize them against niggas like myself when I was a whole ass nigga. I'm different. And I tell the truth because I ain't going to coddle your ass. I just got a better way of delivering it because I don't care about being right. I care about you making sure that you get out your own way. Some of y'all will never understand that because some of y'all in character all the goddamn time. Nigga, I ain't no motherfucking acting. I get off this app, nigga, I'm still going to be the same person. Meet me in real life. I'm still the same person. Real, raw, and uncut. Gonna die behind you if I tell you I love you. Nigga, first tattoo. That family over everything. Tatted around my neck. Nigga, I'll live by that shit. If I call you a brother, or uncle, or auntie, or sister, I'm dying behind you. And there's people that can attest to that. The only thing is, I'm really, really, really fucked up in the head. So people don't, don't play with me.
So I give this time to anybody that want to ask a question. If you block, if you know somebody that's blocked that want to ask a question that you to share the live to. Sleep? I know I get on your nerves sometimes. And dry Y'all queen, that why I ain't blocked your ass yet. But yeah, if anybody that had a question that's in the comments that's listening that want to come up and ask a question, come up and ask your question. I'm going to go one at a time. What's Man, up, Coco? Are you Mark? okay, Slim? Yeah, I'm good. I just wanted to clear the air, man. All these motherfuckers talking and acting like they know what the fuck they talking about. Man, y'all been locked in for years. So I hate this. I hate this real bad. Like, what? I mean, when this happened, you know I'll be popping in. I it ain't happened even. today. And y'all had a conversation over the phone. Yeah. Because I hate this is live. Yeah. I would tell this TikTok. It's the internet. Thank you to everybody that sent the cash out. Family. I would tell this the internet. I'm gonna get on live. I'm gonna address the nigga that that that, that exposed himself. You know what I'm saying? What not not realizing you gave him the motherfucking voice. Okay, so basically, a person came you at bro, you I on, her, you bro, on her platform. Yo. Oh. I mean, I'm I just hate this cuz I you know what I'm saying, I only follow both of y'all as far as this. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all the only two people I got loyal to. Man, still feel free to go through and support, man. That shit be entertaining. I just no, know I I'll never stick up for you Slim. again. I'm, I'll I never stick up for you again cuz I can't I can't, I can't. I, it just I hurt. never eat another bully. There's so many people that don't fuck with me because of how much I fucked with her. But it's I'm me. I'm not even mad about that because at the end of the day, I'm still going, I'm still that nigga. Like, I'm still good. Thank you with the cash up. I'm still good. But I when you, I, 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 I held that shit back earlier and didn't go in the detail of how much shit they asked me questions, which were valid questions. What made me think I was different? what i was told welcome to the family thank y'all with all the subscriptions what i was told made me realize th think that i was different what was shown to me continuously until like probably like the last 30 45 days it, did y'all have any conversations prior to the day about that like nah i've been i just said certain shit you know what i'm saying i send a text message every time i feel some type of way and then you know what i'm saying you'll give me some reassurance nah that wasn't for you nephew nah that wasn't for you okay. but i'm catching the slugs though i'm catching the slights okay but because i ain't blow up and just go off motherfuckers just be like oh nah he just today was like nah i sat back and i accepted certain shit welcome to the family okay because, see, this is what I thought. And I don't know how many people thought that. Because, you know, I've been following y'all for, like, what, three, four Welcome years? Welcome to the family. Like, I thought y'all was in a business together. You know what I'm saying? And you Nah, I just protected me. the fuck out of her because of how much I fucked Welcome with her. Welcome to the family. I you rode for her because of how much I fucked with her. The same way I ride for motherfuckers out of time. How many other people y'all have seen me stick my neck on the line for? I just, I just really hate this for y'all, but... I love y'all both, and I mean, that's crazy. That's this is painful. I hate to see this. I hate this. But I mean, you. I mean, I can't say you wrong for feeling how you feel. I can't say nothing. I'm gonna let somebody else up, man. All Stay right. up. Hey, big, big fam. I don't know nothing about that diamond stuff. You know, I don't be over on that page. Um, Thank you with the cash up. But, you know, emo, uh, dealing with your emotions, people say, you know, they do things to make you react. They deal with their trauma by putting you through trauma. 
I don't want to see you have to ever come on this app and explain your past trauma to explain your current life. All right. You allowed to live without having to re-explain your past trauma. Everybody has it. Everybody have trauma. So when you come on, you know what I'm saying? Like half the people always happy because you got those problems going on. Half the people sitting there hating and they not, and it's not towards Diamond or anybody. They with right? the cash up. Half the people like want you to be going through that because they that keep them from facing their own problems and stuff. Like, oh boy, that sent that cash app to Diamond. I bet you if you go look in his background or go talk to some people in his background, he done did some shady stuff. He's done, ain't nobody walked the face of this earth, ain't did something where somebody ain't got a complaint, right? Period. And then in addition to that, you look at Blaze who came to the internet and brought that trauma and exposed your baby mama case, the name, the this, the that. Them people ain't got nothing slim. You said you touched a quarter mil, right? No, three Where? quarters of a mil. You said in, in your in your dealings you touched three. Yeah, nah, that was years. just in twenty twenty. That was twenty twenty to twenty twenty two. From twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty two, do you know most people couldn't even sit down and count three quarters of a meal? Yeah. And they see this, and you talk about you pocket watching. You think they not pocket watching you? You don't yeah. think they see them cash app goals drop down from a thousand to two hundred to you know that's more money than most of the people walking away with. You know, most of the people walking up off this app with 18 cents. In that's coin. the only reason why some of these people don't be. That's why that's why some of these people actually know what I'm saying, like go crazy and try and drag a nigga and bring a nigga down. It wasn't Absolutely. because I was a problem. It's because it because they don't know how to garner the platform. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to entertain. They Absolutely. don't know how to be real. You ain't got no conversation. You ain't got nothing other than a phone. And I still keep myself humble every day. That's why I always move the way I do. I jump from live to live. I go to panels. I have fun. I turn other people's lives up. I use my power, my platform, to make sure other motherfuckers get a platform. Okay, ain't nobody in here. Let me jump up here. I don't even give a fuck what you're talking about. I don't even like what you're talking about. But look, you need some You need some numbers. I'm going to give some, somebody in my shit going to like what you're talking about. Let me get up here. Shout out to the pushers. I heard this in Petty Live, or I read it in Petty Live. And I want you to keep this with you for the rest of your travel, whether it be social media, life, you, work, cares, job, man. whatever, right? Listen, I, I'm holding this shit to my heart. I read this like two years ago. Somebody in the car was complaining about old oh boy, the same one that ran to the internet with your stuff. And somebody in the comment section said, a motherfucker that don't have nothing will try to help you lose everything. Now, understand it, what I'm telling you. Now, nah, I we get it. But that's last why, night I had a good time. That's why I be telling people like, look, bro, y'all ain't stopping nothing. Y'all ain't stopping nothing. Period. You ain't stopped nothing yet. All you doing, nigga, y'all done gave me free publicity. The last time they tried to bring this shit up, it wasn't enough people watching. Now you got 1.5K, they, they done heard the whole story. Now what you going to say again? And it ain't the trains. It's real people sitting in here. Real people. Story because we mess, we mess with you, Slim. You know, I already addressed this on my platform when, he, when they first tried to bring this stuff out. You know, it's more to the doggone story. Yeah, people, you already put Big it facts. out. You already explained it. The people that's going to rock with you, Slim, going to rock with you regardless. You see what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to justify we know you're being real. a human being. You ain't got to justify really being a human being. That woman beating up, beating you, up on you. That woman black in your eyes. She doing all of that. And most black men will not go to the police. People that really what love you, Slim. Men, you know, going to walk into the damn Slim police department love. and say, I'm a victim of domestic violence. Now nah, y'all suffer in silence because women definitely ain't going to sit up there and let no man beat on them and don't go to the police. And some of them do, but most of them won't. You know, they're going to go to the police. And, but a man going to the police, I didn't heard of men going to the police about a woman attacking them and the police sitting there laughing at them, laughing at them. So I understand, yeah, domestic violence happened sometimes both ways. And, and anyway, back to what I was saying, man, look, you ain't got to justify your mm, life crying. by reliving your trauma. You don't. Nah, it was it was just time for me. I was just gonna say it like shit. If you ain't hear it, I know they streaming this shit on multiple lives with multiple thousands of people in yeah, there. They are. Man, shit. Not everybody heard it all. Not what you gonna say. 
Hey, be rabbit they ass. You know what I'm saying? What what more are you gonna tell me about me? Period point blank. What? But the next Let's time a woman listen, listen to me. Now I'm pay attention. Pay attention because you get getting ADHD on me. Listen. Now, the next time a woman the next time a woman put her hands on you, I need you to teach her what she need to know for the next man going forward. First things first, you leave her alone. Second Welcome thing, to the family. second oh. thing, you put, listen to me, don't listen to me, put her ass in jail, put her in jail, take pictures, call the police, yep, you get a restraining okay. order, put her ass in jail because when she leave from you, she's still abusive. Same thing as with a man, same thing as with a man, if a man putting his hands on you, put them in jail because when they leave from you they going to the next person and they're going to be abusive they don't stop they don't something got to stop them so i need you tell your brothers tell a black man he come to a black bro brother come to you and say hey my girl slapped me she punched me she stabbed my tire she did this she did that put her ass in jail man what so i've been doing what I've been doing lately, though, is I be trying to teach niggas how to get away from that toxic shit just all to begin with. How you can do it? Here you, brother. Thank you. Now, I'm saying like, that's cool, too, but I need jail. you to be They'll able to stop. spot that shit. I need you to be able to spot that shit in conversation. I can have a I'm conversation with somebody at that point in time and figure out who toxic. Yeah, that's I true. don't got to do that's that no true. more. I actually found out that the only reason why I ended up loving women that would beat on me is because I would beat on like a motherfucker when I was a kid. Yep. Yeah. When yeah. you start healing from certain shit, certain shit what just don't even happening? appeal to you. I'd be talking to a woman, I'd be like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'd just be, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. be slim. Why you ain't never call me again? <laughs> Yo, ass <head> blocked. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> you not finna get in my space and fuck up my peace. You know how hard I had to fight? Man, it's the first time I ever been free. I'm free four years now. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that's the longest I ever been free as a fucking adult. Four years. Man, you think I'm going to let somebody, just because you find that coochie good, goddamn y'all even look at them and be like, hey, that coochie look like it's going to be toxic having me out here tripping. I'm going to get away from you. Mm -hmm. uh, get you an ugly <laughs> fat, fat person, I guess. You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, it ain't that. I just, know, I just know the difference in how to deal with women, man. I know what, I, I know what I'm looking at, and I don't put myself, I don't project myself onto nobody. I'm comfortable, and I got to know myself. I came to terms with who I am in here. You know what I'm saying? I understood that I forgave myself for the shit that I didn't know. I also looked at why I was tolerating and accepting certain shit in my life. Even today, this was a healing moment. I know y'all like tired of me explaining, but this was a healing moment. This was one of them times where I realized, like, man, look, Slim. You keep taking bullets for everybody you come across. Nigga, how many times you going to expect God to save you for everything? How many times you going to keep asking God to save you for everything when you can fight back your goddamn self? You keep on letting your realness and your principles and all of that shit get in the way. You give people sympathy when they don't need it. You give people empathy when they don't deserve it. It one of them times. I knew the reason. I knew if I called that, you know what I'm saying? I knew a long time ago when I saw the shit start happening. I like, I ain't going to do it because I know I'm the one person. If I ever speak up against her, everybody going to be waiting on that day. Everybody was waiting on that day. And that's what hurt me the most. I ain't going to lie to you. I wanted to cry early because I'm like, damn, I got to do it to you. I know that everybody was waiting on what that day. The family. Thank you with the subscription. Thank you with the cash up. I got you, but um, it'll be good a good place to take this and um, maybe hold some forums with other men and talk about what to do in abusive relationships, how to spot it, and how to get the hell out of it. Because there are men laying in the grave because their woman was abusive. And it's such a messed up situation because I'm a woman and I know domestic violence occur more often to women than men. But for men, when it do occur, it's pretty bad. So take this, you know, we can learn from it. I would like to see more men get empowered to walk away from, because you don't know who you're talking to. You don't know who listening. It's a man right now in this comment section that's in an abusive relationship that's going to get hit, beat up on, jumped on, because somebody can't control their emotions. There's LGBTQ, violence happening in those couples as well. You know what I'm saying? So take the pain take the trauma turn it into into something that can help other people that's why we go through the shit we go through i land my plane i'm dropping slim i got your back man i'm gonna holler at you on the back end okay all right Kevin, later. all right baby
What's up, bro? What's good, bro? Chill. Hey, man. I haven't been listening, or I don't even know what's really going on, bro. But I heard what you were saying about the TikTok stuff. And I see you a level 39. I had to come check it out. And, bro, you ain't lying about what you be doing on this app. That's a lot of, you know what I mean? A lot of money back into people. Because I know, personally, like, I'm a level 40, bro. You know what I mean? No, we we on something deeper and bigger than just money, bro. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, they finna, my family finna drop you, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I fuck with you, bro. But it's it's bad timing, bad timing, bad timing, bad timing, bro. Bad timing. Welcome to the family. Thank you for the subscription. What happened? Oh, okay. Subscribers gonna get fair priority for some of y'all. Like, I appreciate y'all for uh, requesting in, but if somebody has subscribed requesting, they gonna skip the line every time. How you sure? What's up, bro? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, because I got these headphones in. Hold on. Hello? Yo. Yeah. yeah, I can hear you. Slim, if you wanted everybody to be in here boohoo crying, why you just ain't say that? Mm, I don't know what that wasn't the intention. I got you. But you know, at first I was like, Slim, I think that's a bad idea. I I, I dragged you down. I we done been tussling back and forth. I didn't want you to do this, but then when I heard you, Slim, you needed this. You need to get this off your chest. You need to be free from this. I think this probably was the last thing that was holding you down because at the end of the day, you been free. You got your papers. By the law, you free. I think just by the world and everything else, you was looking for a way to be free too. And I feel like this right here is finally free. Because even when, all right, let me... Remember when you got your paperwork and we had like the party that night because you know what I'm saying you 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 got to walk away. Yep. You still said you was in a weird space because you felt like you was free but you wasn't free, and you didn't know what to do. Kyle the bond company, Kyle the bond company that Monday, just right. and I it knew it was like over you with. Like you had a hard time even saying like I can't accept I, I don't feel free like you felt like you Can you I wanted to be happy y'all? but you was just. <laughs> Stop legal. You felt like you was happy, but you still was in this weird mixed vibe place and you still was like drinking and you still was sad. I really feel like it was this nah, moment. That, that like, was part of right that was that that was part of that, but I, I will say this was part of the uh this part of the reason why I was drinking still. When I left Texas, you know what I'm saying? I looked at my little boy, I left my little boy in the projects, goddamn. I never had him there. I went hard every day to make sure he never felt right. no kind of pain, no kind of suffering, no kind of nothing. I left him in the projects. I broke down crying. I had to fight my motherfucking tears when I was pulling awake. Right. I'm like, bro, I'd have never had you living like this. And his mama so goddamn dumb. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you a thousand dollars a month. Just so I'm trying to I'm trying to up the motherfucking score, up the end to where I could pay twenty five hundred a month on my own. I ain't mandated nothing. I'm trying to pay twenty five hundred a month so you can get fifteen hundred for rent, a thousand dollars to take care of the kid, and that motherfucker don't do nothing but disrespect me. And ain't nobody asking me. I ain't got no amount set. The amounts that I was seeing was set by myself. That's how hard I go for them. And I was broken. Like I just left this little nigga in the projects. My son, my own flesh and blood. In the projects. Yeah. Man, I ain't never grew up in no, pro I grew up in the hood, but not that she live in the worst projects in Houston. I know, I know, Slim. So. Nigga, know. that shit hurt. And he don't even realize it. He too pure. He gonna love on his mama to the end of time, and I, I, I love it. 
But the way she raising him, that's the next the next thing. If people don't know my biggest thing, the reason the last time I told her, I told her to get her shit together. And the next six months, I'm coming to get him. Right. You're not gonna raise no no spoiled entitled black man. You're not gonna teach him fuck shit. Right. He not gonna grow up and become a me. My mama did the same shit she doing to him, and she don't realize it. I understand why my mama loved us so much. You know, I talk to you like this on the back end when we talk about little man. All kids grow up to be adults. And they're gonna see some they're gonna eventually see some shit for themselves. And they're gonna see who was real and they're gonna see who was fake. And then all that telling telling your side of the story eventually is gonna run out when they become adults and they can understand shit for themselves. And I ain't never see it played out with the person who was dragging the other person in their favor. I told you that on the back end. You just gotta give it some time. All kids turn into adults. Yeah, but before he gets to adulthood, I'm going to make sure I go get him. Never stop doing what you're supposed to do. You never stop being there. No matter how hard that shit get, no matter how hard this shit hurt, you never fucking stop. You never stop. I'm going to go get him. You don't got to explain to nobody why you never stop. Even when you don't feel appreciated, you feel like that. whatever he said to you can't hurt you, you don't stop. You show up every day for that little boy. He needs you now more than he ever needed you. And now you got the, the time, you got the life, you got That's the stability. That's real child. You can be there for him. Never fucking stop. This shit is above this app. This shit is bigger than this Chell app. Chell swears she our big sister. That's why I didn't want this shit to come on this app. Because Slim, I know this shit. Every time they throw that shit at you, you get like this off the fucking app. I knew it was coming. And that's why I said, Slim, this shit got my stomach hurting. Just don't do it because I didn't want you to have to do this in front of everybody because everybody don't deserve your vulnerability. But I, I also understand, on the other hand, you got to get it out. You got to get it out and set yourself free. Stop holding on to shit that you, it wasn't meant for you to hold on, Slim. Everybody know the truth now. Those that get it, get it. <laughs> that don't want. It's fuck it. Fuck them. I rock with you the long way from the front end, the back end, on the, on the app, off the app. You my brother, like you said, Saturday, you my brother for life, biologically. And I don't even tell a lot of people they my motherfucking brother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't call everybody friend. I don't call everybody sister and brother. I don't do all that shit. But I love you. Chell got us crying again. Sorry. I love you too, sis. I just hope that you find the closure that you need. I hope this shit give you the power that you need. I hope this shit, I hope this is what can take your final lap. So now all you got to do is skyrocket to your Welcome to the family. Thank you, Mr. Christian. I hope this is just another stepping stone to the future. Yeah, there's some shit needs to be done. Need to be right. said. All right, I'm out. Bye, books. Love you. Bye. Bye. What's up, Jack? You hear me, bro? Oh, oh, oh. You hear yeah, me? I can hear you. Uh, I've been following for a couple months, and I just wanted to tell you, right? Because I had came in like when you keep first your head up, bro. And, stuff, and I just want to say, like, I feel like now that you cleared the air and stuff, because I just never know why people hated you so much, but I liked you so much. That's we used to always trip me out, but now I see where like the confusion had came from, right? And I'm just going to tell you that it's more people that's going to resonate with that story. And that's coming from a young male myself that's been in situations like that. You get what I'm saying? And I appreciate you for being vulnerable because it goes to Likewise. show no matter where you start from, you could become greater. And your growth shows more than your past, bro. And I appreciate you for opening up. Now, everybody was here to be real some people are here to laugh at you you're not a joke you're a real human being and your feelings is validated and it sucks to see you had to go through that with a big heart you got because it's a lot of women that pray for men like you but get men like me <laughs> you feel me mm -hmm. but we ain't gonna speak about that but i'm just gonna say it like that and i'm just gonna give you flowers appreciate it bro Hello. 
Hello. Hello. <laughs> what you mean, man, like you? What you mean by <laughs> Bro, say you out here breaking hearts. Nah, bro. If you need to, you know what I'm saying? Come back, get a one-on-one. -on -one. We can help you stop doing that shit you're doing, too. <laughs> you tripping. <me. laughs> God damn, I need that. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Hey, I was just listening. He said what he said. You know, I be having little slow moments where the words got to catch my brain. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I, I, I help you get through that shit, feel me? I appreciate the flowers, but you need to stop your boo and shit, though. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up? Now, I probably shouldn't be up here because I don't sound like it, but I'm sitting here crying. Okay. Your story is going to open doors and for you. And I'm G. And G's not supposed you. to cry. Damn, damn, baby got me. I love you. Stage. Hope you're doing good. Anyway. Didn't I tell you? It's one thing I've told you over and over and over again, and I, I'm only gonna say that one that one thing, and that is, faith is the hardest when you need it. Yeah. So just know it's coming for Don't you. Don't you make me cry again, Denise? <laughs> I'm trying try not to come hold it in right now, <laughs> but it's coming. Your time is coming. You just gotta wait for god to say when it's time and don't rush it What's faith is the hardest thing i need to get off of here i'm crying i'm get off i love um, y'all <laughs> too sis denise can drop she got us crying too nah i ain't finna do all that crying now because i'm we love it here <laughs> oh, gee, I ain't finna do no crying, but <laughs> but so I wanted to jump up here before I go in here into this gym. I want to let you know I love you. You're my brother. Okay, whatever you're going through right now, it's all going to be okay. Um, I know it's hard to say that, and then you know things you can't see the the light down the tunnel. You can't see it. You thinking like. I don't know what this finna turn out to be, but you got to keep your head up. It's, 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 uh, it's going to drag you through the ringer, but that at the end, all that matters is getting to the end of that tunnel. That's it. That's all. Yeah, I appreciate it, mom. But again, I love you. You're my brothers. And, you know, don't make me have to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. You always have one with me. Don't make me have to have one with you. Okay? Nah, that, that, was, that, was, that was the end of the day. <clears throat> this okay. the end of the that was the end of the saga. I just let it, I answered all the I answer every question, cleared up the air for everything. Feel me? Absolutely, and that's all you can do. Everything but, else is pretty much over with. If they weren't here, if they ain't hear it on this live, and they don't believe whatever the fuck I said, that's on them, man. And at this point, you let it lay it to rest. You have said your piece. You have spoke your truth. Whoever believe it, believe it. Whoever don't, don't have to go to hell. You know what I mean? But please keep your head up. I love to see you smiling more than I hate to see you frowning. So I don't like all that. When you frown, you make me sad. It's cool. I'll be all right. That's it. I know you will be. I'm going to keep praying for you, okay? Slim, can you play some music right. for me? You was killing it last Bye, night. Bye, Mama. I got you. I'm going to let everybody come in and, and, and talk their shit. Oh, I know. She ain't got her subscribe back. You banned Peach? Oh, uh, you know they um banana my main page, the hating ass hoes. But anyways, listen, bro. So I came up here to tell you that my thoughts and prayers are with you. And um just know that when you're in the midst of the storm, sometimes you can't see why you're in it, but it's a greater purpose later. So I love you, I Slim. Off, Much support. Thank you, I started off over here with you when you was doing Are You the Problem? And you you were doing the damn thing. Um, maybe this needed to come back out to the forefront so it can be lifted off of you. Um, I just want to say keep going, keep growing, keep glowing, okay? Um, you mm -hmm. got this, and walking in your truth is the most powerful thing you can ever do. I so I just want to get up here and tell you. I'm I proud of your head, too, though. Thank you. Of, uh, you're you a good man, off, Slim. You branched off. You did your motherfucking thing. Hey, the best recap show on the motherfucking L, goddamn. 
If you ain't tapped in the peach, you know what I'm saying? Her normal page is lovely GA Peach. They popped it. You know how these motherfuckers be hating. Plus, sometimes y'all get a little toxic over there. But that's the best motherfucking recap on the goddamn internet. I'm proud of it. If you want to support a goddamn recap live, go ahead and go there. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. But you know, you gave me some great tips and um, I utilized them and it helped my platform to grow. I see the good things that you out here doing. So, I mean, at the end of the day, bro, I love you. You keep going. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I wanted to come up here. He was hating on that 10K. Okay. Hey, yeah, they was hating on that 10K. They was, but I ain't going to turn this about me, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't going to turn this about me. But keep your head up, bro. I love you. I'm gone. Me too, You know I don't get in the box, but you know I'm always here for you, Slim. I appreciate you, Teresa. Oh. What's going on, man? <laughs> What's going on, man? I would have been, uh, been, been up here a little sooner, but I had to go. I, I lost another two. <laughs> <laughs> You all right, man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. You sure about that? Yeah. Drop cab already. Thank you with the cash, yeah. You, 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 you good enough to, to platform? Play him a song, cab. By yourself. This is my season. To bring what I. Yo, listen at this. See, I haven't been perfect, but I show. I will pay to bring Kev back. See, God, thank you the And I know Tell him he's evil. You, 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 you got a seed in the ground. God has you, you in you, his favor. You, you good, you good enough to platform by yourself. Now and, and, I'm and, crying. And, 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 we and, can't drop and blame this. Been everything, all those things to all these different platformers and, and the assets the that, that you feel like you've been, you've already planted the seed. It, 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 it's your season. You already got the seed in the ground. To, it, it, and it's, it's your season to reap what you've sown. It's time for you to, you know, uh, outside of this weekend right here, you already know I don't even do boxing. You know, this was the, this was the most boxes I've done in the last two years, um, because everything could be misinterpreted, everything could be misconstrued, um, feelings get hurt, alliances get broken. Um, you know, people who you thought were friends weren't really friends. People who you thought had your best interest at heart really didn't. Um, sometimes you actually even become the content of the people you uh, attempt to support. So, uh, I, th th this just may be a sign. Jeremiah chapter 29, um, verses 11 um, to 12, this, my this testimonial sign, scripture. Uh, one, way, one way or another, um, that it's just time to do your thing, do your own thing. You know, if you get a co-host, I think a, a co-host, if you can find a good co-host, um, it might be a good situation for you. But You talking right. I, I, I think... I, I, I don't think that you serve yourself well with going from platform to platform because the content that you could be could be exclusive to you, you're now sharing with other people, other platforms. When people can come and tap in with you for that very content, you know, I though everybody their content ain't gonna suffer because Slim Lee. I promise you. Mm -hmm. if, if I when I drop out of this box. Slim box, slim content ain't finna suffer because Ken the comic lead his pay. So, because your content, is welcome to the family. To you. Your your content is exclusive to you. Can't nobody duplicate, replicate, or imitate your content. So, so everybody is not meant to partake in in what you have to offer. If they not coming over here to enjoy it, stop going over there to give it. If they if they're not taking trips over here to enjoy it, then stop taking it over there to give it to. This them. is wise counsel, Slim. You know you 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 got your own shit. You 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 popping in your own regard. 
uh, 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 who, who reduced? It, it, this ain't no subliminal. This, I've seen Slim on several lines. I don't even know the context of everything that's going on up here. So who reduced? It's not sub, subliminal. Who reduced? You know me better than that. So who reduced? Let, let's not do that. Who reduced? We, you, you, I, I, don't, I don't do that. I, listen, if I, I got something lie. to say, I ain't gonna I'm gonna lie. Say I, would, I, I know. I know. Uh, I, I know. Um, and um, um, no. Even still, like if you know how I rock, no matter how much I feel like with somebody, you know what I'm saying? I I don't know I don't do that. So you know what I'm saying? I don't believe he really tried yeah, to be yeah, on it, no, no shady shit. Who, who, who I, I, I know I got a mouth, I know how to speak. I don't I don't I don't subliminal shit. If I got something to say, I'm gonna get it off my chest. I've seen Slim on more than one platform. So this applies across the board. I, I don't even know the, the details of what the fuck is even going on. So I'm sure some people are saying, well, why the fuck is you even up there? Mind your motherfucking business. Thank you with the cash out. So, you, you know, uh, you, 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 you got the sauce. Let it drip over on your side. You know, if, if there's, if there's something going on to where, you know, your presence is necessary, then keep talking, I, Kev. It, it, it's, it's, um, you just serve as a, you're a content creator. You're a content creator. Talk you're no longer Kev. a content watcher. you 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 that's not that's not the role that you got. You're just as, you're as big as big or even bigger than a lot of us that are on here. I ain't got as many followers as you. I got a hundred and four thousand, four hundred five thousand. Your ass got damn near twice that many. Nah, so, yeah, nah. <laughs> you, 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 I'm only up by about tell like him Uncle Daddy. <laughs> you you, 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 got, you got the ability to you you need to be rocking you walking your walking your motherfucking Walk in your power. Walk, walk in your power. You give your power away when you're giving it away. you giving your power away. You got more power on your own platform. You got more power and, and you got more speed. And, and, and this ain't no shade at nobody else. You know, because again, I don't even sit in boxes. So this ain't no shade at no fucking body. This is, this is, uh, this is, I'm talking to you. I've actually said this to you before. Yeah, I've actually said this to you before. Now I told you at one point in time, nigga, your words be resonating in my motherfucking head when I first start when I started calming down. I we was still beefing. If the shoe fits, they can wear it. <laughs> Look, we was still beefing, but I was like, that nigga killed, right? I gotta calm down if I want to keep going up. <laughs> I'm just, and I I'm made just sure that I, I made sure that I kept, I calmed down. Then them words. You, you never know who watching you. Thank you with the case. You, you, you never know who watching you. You never know what opportunities gonna come across. The, the, TikTok is a huge world, and, and, a, and a small world at the same time. It's a huge world. It's 170 million people on this app, but it's a small world at the same time. You never know who watching you. You know, and, and, and look here. Never and, and stop explaining yourself to motherfuckers that's determined to misunderstand you. So stop explaining yourself to motherfuckers that's determined to misunderstand you. And no matter how much you speak, no matter how much you you you, you say this, that, or the other, people are some people are just determined to not like you, to not to to want to have the, the the wrong perception of you, and all of that. Stop. Look and, and, and stop taking advice from people that ain't got they ain't got to live with the consequences of the decisions. That's that good, make. Kev. Stop the, stop taking advice from people that ain't got to live. I ain't you ain't got to live with no decision, no the consequences. I ain't got to live with your consequences. Stop taking advice from these motherfuckers that go put yourself in seclusion. If if I were you, I would put myself in Fact seclusion. Uh, if you found a, a a good co-host, then rock with that. Um, I, I just rock with your own content. Everybody, there's enough content out here for everybody. Rock your own content. Do your own co own content. Stay in your own lane. Hold your head high and don't look back. I got you. All right, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Play on. I told grandma, like, I don't see the point. I Welcome to the family. Thank you for the subscription. She's not even that. Grandma, she has her life right Brother now. Brother Celine co host for two money guys. Had my bike, rode my bike. See Temple. Any school at that point, Eric. But no, you could not. No, don't walk away from me. Well, we ain't going to do that.
You know how you see Welcome me. to the family. Thank you for the subscription. You feel better? Yeah, I feel better. I ain't gonna lie, it was like weight lifted out of my shoulders, though. It was weight lifted out of my shoulders. Hey, nephew. Hey, mom. I just want you to tell you that you are great, living your greatness. Don't let nobody take your joy. Welcome what, to the family. What God Maybe has for you, out. he has for you. Yeah. And positive thinking for positive results. And I love you. Love you too. All right. All right. Good. Turn up from here. Don't explain yourself anymore. What's up, Karen? Brother Salim, brother Salim, what's cracking, man? Man, y'all with this was crack. All right, nothing. What's up, bro? Shit, man. I've been getting a, a bunch of DMs and shit. Come chop it up with you and shit. And I uh came in here and I'm hearing what people got to say and shit. Sound like people trying to uh throw you off your square, man. Nah, it was just something that it was a long time coming for some shit that needed to be said and it had to be said and it's been said. That's it, that's all. But everything yeah, cool now, bro? Yeah, 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 we good, we good. I want to make sure and shit, because after last night, you know, that, that ass whooping that you received from me, I just wanted to make sure. Why, you fuck know. you, my Wi-Fi was fucking up. <laughs> and your ass stole several of my songs. <laughs> I can't say nah. And it came with a whole playlist I already read it for the DJ battle. Man, I showed the fuck you. Did. I showed the fuck did. And hey, he man. had my shit in there. I was like, this nigga really playing my shit first? This nigga ain't fuck with this song. Then he went to, you know what I'm saying, that one person that we really don't fuck with, but I had to go on here digging my bag for that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he buddy. Really knew you was throwing. He, he did, did, yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I you know. did your thing, though. You did your thing, though. I ain't going to lie. Should and have I, done rap. I, you would have won. I appreciate. I appreciate that. Cam y'all did a great job last night. App, that green app you did. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that too. Now nah, I always make sure I look out for the people that fuck with me, bro. This you know is an mean? everybody win situation. I Motherfucker feel don't be knowing though. Motherfucker don't be knowing that like 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 I'm trying to make sure everybody that come around me win. I don't yeah. be caring about being the only nigga winning. If you the only nigga eating around in your circle, you know what I'm saying? Shit, eventually your ass gonna be food, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Must got AT and T Wi Fi yeah. long. That's why I don't understand how my, I mean, motherfuckers gonna feel how they want to feel about you, bro. But like I said, you a one day one for me. You know what I'm saying? One of the first motherfuckers I've been fucking with since I got on this motherfucker app. And she, you know, what's understood I don't need to be explained. So she, I just hope motherfucker get better. Continue to do what you do, bro. You know I'm gonna still fuck with you. Anytime you want to get beat in a DJ battle again, you know. We can run I'm that shit back. Group. I'm gonna try to give me a better route on know what I'm saying that's gonna give me some more power so I can get on the other internet that's in the house. Yeah, you better you get you some better fucked up. You better get you some motherfucker better Wi Fi, nigga. Get you some shit that work good. That cheap ass Wi Fi you got over there. The crazy part. I got this shit from T Mobile, but I had Metro PCS Wi Fi. And that shit was way more far. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that shit, that shit trash, nigga. I'm talking about my Metro PCS Wi-Fi. Nigga, I ain't no glitching. That was what I was beating your ass with every other time. Mm -hmm. First of all, it wasn't no every other time. Yeah, every other time I was no, smoking your ass. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was yeah. It yeah. was It was not. Mm -hmm. It was a biased crowd. Her hands uh, misunderstood. Shell. All they ass biased in the motherfucker. Nene. Yeah, all y'all ass biased as hell. 
Y'all, yeah, I called y'all name. Show sure is. Stop it, Cam. Six, oh, six Not foot of you much, too. Cam. Six foot of you buys too. You be buys too, motherfucker. No, no, no. We ain't finna do that. But I beat his ass last night, though. Leave Nene alone. That's how you feel, Denise? Bad. But go on here, bro. I gotta finish eating this soup and shit. Motherfucker got sick last night. I got them goddamn stomach. Are y'all doing rap next time? Yeah, we can do rap next Cam, time. Cam, you are fired. Ha, ha, ha. Damn. That's how Dad you feel, snacking. Brother? Yeah, we can do rap. Maybe he'll have a chance. You know, I would have smoked your R and B. I'm uh, telling you, was not bro. Bro, Why I was typing in, I was typing in the wrong, the wrong, uh, uh, the wrong artist go, for the song, go. and I just had to take the suggestion there. Now and then, he just steady. He just Cam steady making on excuses. Here. You steady making excuses for some shit, bro. Early two thousand. It's cool, bro. It's cool, bro. I know. I'm, I'm gonna beat your ass or whatever we pick next time. Fuck me. <laughs>